Tonight, police are investigating whether eccentric millionaire Robert Durst should be a suspect in five murders, not three. For decades, Durst has been under suspicion. He was arrested this week after appearing to confess in a film about his life. A search warrant made public today shows he may have had an escape plan, and Omar Villafranca is following this. In a search of his hotel room, officers found a false ID with the name Everett Ward, more than $42,000 in cash, a loaded 38 caliber revolver, and a rubber latex mask. Very similar. The warrant also says two so. experts linked Durst last November to an incriminating letter sent to police about the murder of Susan Berman. Last night, Durst was transferred to a prison mental health facility. The sheriff said he was a suicide risk. Durst's lawyer says that's not true. At Durst's Houston home, officers seized more than 30 CDs and boxes of email, financial papers, and checks. It's unclear how long his extradition will take. L.A. Police Chief Charlie Beck. We are glad that uh, we have finally come to a point where we can uh, request to have uh, Mr. Durst uh, extradited to California to Los Angeles so that he can uh, face a jury of his peers. There is renewed interest in the cases of two California girls who went missing when Durst lived in Northern California. 16-year-old Karen Mitchell and 18-year-old Kristen Modafferi vanished in 1997. Joan Petrusky, a Modafferi family spokeswoman, says the family is hopeful. They think about her every day, and they've been going on with their lives, of course, but you never, they never forget her. In a search of Durst condo, police also found copies of two books without a trace and a deadly secret. Scott, those books are about the 1982 disappearance of his first wife. Omar Villafranca reporting for us tonight from the Los Angeles newsroom. Thanks, Omar.